Hello everyone, hello, Cesare here with yet some more Final Fantasy XI quests. Uh, we have next on our line the Scholar quest. Uh, we're going to consider this Artifact 3, even though there are actually three others that you can do before this one. As far as story goes, this is what, the, one of the ones that we're going to do. So we're uh, back here in Eldium Necropolis, where we're going to speak to Erlene again. You've come back, Mill. It seems the general quarter, uh, general headquarters has begun uh, to spearhead investigations into the despairing magi. It was just as your evidence indicated. The culprit was none other than Ulbrek himself. Evidence. He literally told me it was him. I was called to appear at headquarters where I was issued a pre pre prepared statement. In these times of war wrought chaos, the wisdom and insight of the scholars are assets to, uh, whose significance cannot be overlooked. That is to say, you are a necessary evil. However, upon cessation of hostilities, your kind will no longer have a place in the Alliance. Oh, that's great. I had anticipated hearing such, as much as soon as I was summoned. Still, I confess I was a bit shocked. I'm sorry, I've gone and gotten off Verklimt. But this is not over yet! The errors of the pupils shall be corrected by the pupils! I believe Professor Schultz may know something about the whereabouts of Ulbrecht. Don't you remember, Miro? The time that the professor vanished and you located him for me? You received the sealed letter which you passed along to Ulbrecht. It was just shortly after that that the magicians of the Allied Forces began to disappear one after the other. The professor must know something, and even if he doesn't, if anyone can find something out, it's him. Unfortunately, as always, the professor is off somewhere doing goddess knows what. Do you think you can track down Professor Schultz yet again? Nicholas has even provided some advice to aid you, as he has some, had some experience with siphoning out the professor himself. He asked me to pass it along. Whenever the professor disappears, find a specific aim in mind. He leaves with behind clues in his wake. Without fail, search for these and you will find him... Find finding him is not so daunting a task. Perhaps such a hint could be found in the spot where you first located the professor. I would suggest trying your luck there first. I will attempt to obtain more information from other sources. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here before we go off to that area is we're going to go back to the book and we're going to change our job to a uh, monk. Because Ulberk is expecting a scholar. He'll never expect a monk just to fly in and cut his face open with my Arasi, whatever the fuck this thing's called. Arasi Sainty. Hang on, I can equip two. I have dancers set up. That's my job. Cool with two wands on. This job set is probably not optimal. I just have it set because I don't need anything else and I feel like changing it. I was not expecting to uh, get uh, six quests for a scholar, though that was surprising. Whereas uh, dancing, you don't need to. It's uh, you only get like three quests, and then the uh, other ones are just uh, sorry. It's one of most used to go into. Anyway, uh, on scholar, I have a quest quest for each one of the uh, pieces, whereas. On Dancer, I don't. It's not uh, a quest for each one. You just go and turn in items and they make them for you. Which is kind of sad, but whatever. I don't care. Chubby Chunka.
Although the other scholar ones may not actually be quests per se. They may not have any story to them. They may just be quests. I'll have to look at that. Strange into Monk. Monk's last answer is fine. Save point, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, off we go. Now we're gonna go back to the book and we're gonna go to Grauberg because that's the closest entrance to the Pasha Marshlands. extra step there changing jobs it's just eventually I'm gonna to need to be a different job because I doubt I'm gonna be able to beat the boss as a level 60 scholar let's go to never have too many crabs. Wait, that came out wrong. Eleven. in there to find the indescript markings. I know it's a bit of a run. I don't I don't have much to say right now. I apologize. Should be just directly ahead of us. There's a letter sealed which appears to have been dropped. Damn, that's all we had to go there for. Now we're gonna warp ring out of here. This next little bit should be fairly quick. Fairly rapid.
<laughs> We're going back to Norval in front, Yeldi and Necropolis. And then we'll make the long run through the initial foyers here of the Eldim Necropolis. Okay, Erlin, hello. A sealed letter? Hmm, no Jesse or and no sender. This is sealed with the shrouding magic to protect the identities of the concerned parties. Very hush hush. See how the incantation is pressed directly into the sealing wax? But the mere fact that you happen to cross it makes me think, I wonder. Miro, perhaps it is addressed to you. So we are going to our key items, temporary key item. Unaddressed sealed letter. A letter consisting of a single sheet bearing cryptic writing. It reads, Only when nourished and bathed in deep crimson depths of the most magic blood shall the true tome of stratagems be born, and that which rises forth. This is from the professor, without a doubt. Only he would be so bold as to ink out a letter in mere writing. But what could this mean? Only when nourished and bathed in deep crimson depths of the most magic bloods shall the true tome of stratagems be born. That which fries a thorth will come to be feared by all, blood seed grimoire. Yet if left besmirched by the coursing magics of this profane world, all will be in vain. Such blood, when commanded to script, will serve not but to soak the page, running into incomprehensibility. Recourse for those who would seek absolution is limited to a single path. The purging must take place where banishing stones form, the fountainheads spew forth. Let's see Grimoire. I've never even heard that name before. In what way could it be different? This magic bloods referred to here. I certainly don't like the sound of that. It couldn't possibly... No, I must not allow myself such thoughts. But why would the professor have written a letter such as this? What could be going on through his mind? What exactly is Ulbrich trying to accomplish? My mind is plagued by answer questions with no answers. Miro, listen. I can't help but wonder if the body of this letter isn't the same as the letter you delivered to Ulbrich at the professor's request. Of course, this is pure conjecture, but I believe that when these incidents first began, the professor may have... No, no, it couldn't possibly be. But there are more important questions at hand here. We must use our reason. Let us assume that the body of this letter is the same as the sealed letter that you delivered to Ulbrich. Then perhaps it may provide us with a hint in our search for him. See, look here. Where it says banishing stones. Could this possibly be referring to silver ore? How do I figure that, you ask? Well, it's something Ulbrich told me before when he gave me a pair of earrings. The mystical properties of silver are such that it functions as a sort of protective charm against eel, evil. And here, the fountainheads it refers to. Veins of silver and springs of water. 
I know only of one such place. The Ruhat Silver Mines. Could Ubert possibly be there? If you don't mind, Meryl, I'd like to hold on to this letter for further examination. Given time, it may be, I may be able to coax another hint out of it. What's this? The formula of the stratagem doesn't seem right. I've never seen anything quite like this. Oh, wait a moment. It may be still too early in your training to comprehend such cryptic writing, but I'll transcribe a copy for you. But we still have another problem. The only entrance that I know of to, into the Ruhat Silver Mines was sealed following the Battle of Grauberg to preserve the peace. Think. Think. That's it! The formula! The one which we were just examining! That's the only thing I can explain the values that appear to be coordinates. It must be related to the stratagem of pointing to the Silver Mines. If my supposition is correct, the formula and the stratagem that works in tandem with it should be written out somewhere in Grauberg. Go and find that formula, Mira. It will mo almost certainly take you to the Ruhat Silver Mines. I'll make all of this known to the Alliance and Forest Headquarters right away. They may send aid. There you go, we got the Porting Magic Transcript. Alright, so from here we want to go back out. And like I just did in the dancer quest for the war hoop, we have to go th run through Grauber again. Only we're not going to the same location. Exactly. We're going nearby-ish. Actually, it may be a lot closer to the home home bar to the book than uh No, it's still a fair ways away. It's like south from it. Page we're going to is Westbrook Front, Grauberg. Okay. No, I'm not sure I want some trusts. I don't need to do that. I'm Miro. Alright, so. We are currently at L4. Which isn't good. We need to get down to F10. Which is going to be mostly the same path, but slightly different. But yeah, so we got a. We got our uh, porting magic transcript. Yep. So we got to head to F10 in Grauberg S here. Grauberg South. It's funny that they add in the uh, S for, I think it means Shadow Realm, uh, but this place didn't technically exist in the present timeline, or at least it does, but you can't go there as far as I know, unless it was just like completely obliterated. Um, so I guess they didn't really need to add in the S. They could have just called it Grauberg and it had the same effect, I think. Maybe they just added it in to uh, provide uh, context that this is in the past. That's not the case. We aren't quite there yet. As usual, there are gra uh, there are hippogriffs. So if you don't have a mount and you're trying to envision your way there, um, just know they aggro on another level 99s and they have true sight. So. Beware of that. I wish they had to put the book in the center part of Grauberg, to be honest. A more neutral middle point would have been good. God damn, is this place large. Okay, I'm on the right track. 
Yeah, instead of going north, once we get through this, these two, uh, this little mini canyon here, mini valley, sorry, um, we have to go south. We should find a cave. Here, we'll turn south. There's one of the hippogriffs I was just talking about. I don't know if that no, that's not. That's got the name of what you what you think might be a, uh, a notorious monster, but no, that's just a basic dragon. That's kind of cool looking. We never ran into these in our playthrough, I don't think. I love that model though. We are in F10, so we're looking for a cave. That's it right there, I think. So you examine these. There is no response. We gotta do this first, our cutscene. What appears to be complicated formula is written haphazardly on the wall. The text of the porting magic transcript begins to emit a brilliant radiance. Miro, huh. it's not altogether inept of you to have been able to find me here. Your persistence is most annoying, if nothing else. I have nearly finished the composition of my blood seed grimoire. I have no need to observe the studies of a junior pupil. But I think we both know that you have no intention of leaving quietly, do you? Very well, if I must. I suppose it is every aspiring scholar's dream to best their intellectual superior. I shall permit you that opportunity. Have you learnt nothing of either respect or gratitude by now? Such impertinence is punishable by death! Alright, now... Click these. Yeah. <laughs> Your request for entry is being considered. I love that. There we go. I don't know if I need trust for this. Probably not. I think I'm just going to summon Cornelia, Omia, and Koromoru. And then pummel the crap out of them really fast. Maybe I... Actually, I should summon uh, uh, a fighting type. Just in case he decides to put me asleep. That way I'll still be doing damage to him. I had the doubt that's gonna be needed, but just in case, right? Dark guards, huh? Oh, 800 damage. A thousand! Did they buff Monk again? Because I'm... I 
I've been hitting a lot harder lately. Fuck, he's done already. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> My character just pummeled the shit out of it. Ugh. That's why I love having those three characters, because all their haste effects stack. See, told you he wasn't expecting a, a monk. <sighs> what is ha happening? This does not calculate. This is not time to be caught up in stratagems. My apologies, Mel, but this is not where I'm meant to meet my end. Enough of this! Bear witness to the true word of the scholar. Behold the blood sea grimoire. The definitive work spinning all knowledge and ink in the very blood of those who knew it. With this, with this I shall surpass all. Blood sea grimoire, answer the call of your pupil and reveal thine page. Instill in me your unending word. What, what is this? Impossible! This this cannot be! What a disappointment it must be. The ideal of omniscience, of exhausted knowledge, nothing more than an illusion, never to be obtained. Sorry, I had to cough. Instead, it is no to know oneself that is true, Pillow the Scholar. You would have done well to recall my teachings, Zulbrecht. A little learning is a dangerous thing. True development, true progress, lies in knowing that one does not know. Were you actually able to attain your beloved omniscience, you would cease to be mortal. Still, to be drawn in and fall victim of the, to the allure of the Grimmar's knowledge, such lack of discipline condemns oneself to become no more than another of its pages. I suppose in some sense you may have fulfilled with that twisted dream of yours. Teacher, I sought only to approach your greatness, to know. No number of calculations could have foreseen these results. Well, it's at the range of the Game Boy there. We have spent decades locked in this latest game of chess. I wonder if the time has come, not finally come to just concede victory. Unless I'm characteristic mood, old friend. Do you mean to topple your king? Let's chalk this one up to a bit of unavoidable bad luck. It is important after all to know when one is beaten. Though I certainly have no intentions of allowing you to relax your guard, by friends. After all, the next match has already begun. <laughs> that pleases me a great deal. The opponent? My star pupil, Erlene, perhaps? Or maybe even the new energetic newcomer. Miro, your time shall come. May the goddess cause our paths to cross again in a few years. Or a few tens of years. The pieces have already started moving. Stay where you are! Identify yourself! Ah, so it is you again. My apologies. But we have been following you as a person of interest in this disappearing magi case. The victim lying there is who we believe to be the mastermind behind, the, behind the, this whole affair. Military strategist of the Bestoken Army, Officer Ulbrecht Seat. 
And that must be his teacher, one Gunther Schultz, the second. Report? Expired. No visible wounds or signs of poisoning. Perhaps some feeble healing magic was the cause of death? Hmm, I see. That book there, allow no souls to touch it. Something tells me it is the cause behind all the death here. But it's merely a single volume. Do not judge the artifacts of the magic based upon their appearance alone, Dylan. Under dictate of Bane, uh, ban, it shall be sealed in the treasury, away from peering eyes. Also, Erlene may be released. It would seem she is innocent in all of this. But surveillance on her is to be maintained. You, there! Job well done! Your contribution to this investigation is greatly appreciated. But we will handle things from here. Please be so kind as to leave the crime scene. No problem. I'll be glad to do that. Alright, so let's go back to, uh... Let's go change back into Scholar, and then we'll go turn the quest in. But I don't want to go to Tamasia. If I'm at the book, that's not where I want to be. That's a cool looking outfit. Okay, let's transform into Scholar, then uh, go back and get our uh, new piece of equipment. equipment. Marcos, light up please, thank you. everything but what I want you to. So, this is it. This is the final cutscene, I believe. And then we are done with Scholar, I, I think. I don't think the other ones have any story to them. Oh, Mira! I'm so glad that you're safe! I heard from the investigating officer at the Allied Forces headquarters. 
Apparently, they are going to rule all of the disappearances as a mass desertion. They have no means of confirming anything, and they feel they can attribute it all to wartime stress. Even more disturbing, I have learned that once the war is over, the Grimoire is to be banned by all three nations. By the way, there is something I'd like to give to you, Miro, in the absence of your teacher. It does me great honor to announce that you are hereby the last graduating pupil of the Schultz School of Motion Theory, LDM Necropolis Campus. Congratulations! You have faced many trials in getting here today, but the war continues. We scholars still have a great deal of work to do. To know is to act. Let us show the world that we scholars know. Alright, let's take a look. Scholar Motorboard, defense 15, MP plus 15, int plus 4, and enhances sublimation effect. I don't remember what sublimation does, but this is what it looks like. Interesting. Sublimation stores MP while reducing HP. The effect ends once the HP MP limit is reached or HP is too low. Stored MP is gained when the ability is reactivated. So it makes that better. So there you go, there you have it. We got our gloves on, we got our hat on. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right, so I'm gonna be finishing up Dancer, Summoner, and Monk. And then Cilia will be recording the other ones for me hopefully soon. All right, everyone, thanks for viewing. Have a good one. We'll see you later.